What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are at the Bowery Ballroom for Three Teeth, Arthur, and Punisher, and we are here with Ghost. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, dude. Yeah. It's so awesome to have you here. It's actually really good that I get to talk to you after seeing you play. What I was curious is, as somebody who listens to you, it's a very different experience seeing you live. For you, how different of like a mind frame are you in playing live versus like in a vocal booth or in the studio? Uh, it definitely uh, changes things uh, depending on the crowd. Obviously, um, it can be it can be actually horrible or it can be amazing. And tonight, it was just enough of a response that it felt easy to like kind of just lose myself in the situation. What I'm curious is you mentioned because you know seeing you in like this makeup, are you like portraying a character that is like an extension of yourself, or are you completely going outside of yourself when you're playing live? Let's see, it's kind of a bit of both. Um, obviously, it's a character, and it's impo I think it's pointless to put all of yourself into a character, but I mean, it's just an extension of my artistic choices, and. Um, it does give me a little bit of freedom as far as if you're painted up, if you're wearing a mask, you can act a certain way that you normally may not. Because I'm a little bit inse like insecure and shy like in real life. So it definitely helps with that. I thought that your music was very experimental. One minute I'm hearing like industrial synth wave, like with sympathy era ministry, and then the next minute I'm hearing like black metal like in a way it's fair to say that when making music it's easy to try new things right because your music is so experimental sure i mean it hasn't always been easy i think as the project's grown and as i've taken chances slowly it's given me a little bit more of um more confidence to do weird shit that i think maybe people wouldn't have cared about three years ago but as a slow progression it works i think as a frontman, do you sometimes need to like hear music in order to come up with like a lyrical subject matter or lyrical content, or do you sometimes have a concept in mind that could, could determine the outcome of the composition of your music? Dude, I actually used to. I really relied heavily, like in other projects, heavily on influence vocally. But since I started doing vocals for Ghost, it it's a little easier. I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like all the pressure I used to put on myself really isn't there anymore. And so I just kind of write as it comes. And if that's good enough, cool. Uh, if people like it, great. But it's just really cathartic to do it um, from the bass level. And like I said, with Ghost being where it is, I just feel it's a little easier for me to just kind of let it happen. And if people like it, cool. If not, that sucks, but it's kind of more about, like I said, more catharsis for me at the end of the day. Well, I figure since the vocals are a little bit more sustained, you don't need to like worry about like going like a syllable over the arrangements or something like that with the lyrics, right? Sure, yeah. It's definitely more like post-punk, moody, almost um, new wave type vocals. So, yeah. Interesting. Now, a lot of people have referred to you as, like, the sort of synthwave sort of thing, but synthwave is so, like, subjective. Like, people call ministry synthwave. They call it Depeche Mode synthwave. I heard people call, like, even, like, Fear Factor, like, synthwave metal or something like that. How do you define, like, a synthwave sort of band or even, like, an industrial band for that matter? Dude, honestly, it's, it's rough. I mean, I know how I define certain industrial bands because they've always been that for me because I'm... Um, I wasn't there when it was happening per se, but like Ministry, they're industrial now. Um, it's hard to really say how I define it. It's more about, I guess, a mood. And as far as Synthwave goes, I think it's still kind of new. And I think the whole definition is so vague that I, it's almost kind of meaningless right now. And I honestly feel like genres are getting a little like more meaning less, less meaningful because people are mixing so many things now. You know, you've got bands like Def Heaven doing like their best fucking version of Mogwai versus fucking uh, Dark Throne. You know what I mean? So like I think bands are evolving in a way to combine certain things that we don't really need classifications and... I mean, when I interviewed Stabbing Westward a couple weeks ago, he said, like, 
In the end, if you're listening to Throbbing Gristle, Skinny Puppy, or Static X, or Rammstein, in the end, industrial evolves so much. That sure, yeah. And all of those bands I would consider industrial as well. So I think it's just... I think it's more personal than it is, like, what someone else says something is. Like, who fucking cares? Like, if you put the label of industrial on a few of your favorite fucking bands and that makes sense to you, then run with that shit. And I have two more questions for you, if that's cool. Um, kind of going back to your lyrics, are you trying to leave your lyrics open to interpretation since your live presence, everybody could feel differently in it? Or are you trying to maybe convey a certain message behind your music as well? My, my lyrics are, like, extremely personal. So I want them to mean something to me every night when I fucking have to perform it, you know, 30 nights in a row. So it's very personal. If it makes sense to other people, then that's fucking great because I know when a song makes sense to me lyrically, it like really calms me, makes me feel not al- not so alone. So if, if my lyrics can do that, that's great. But essentially... It's just personal, and it comes from the heart, and it's for me. And the final question I want to ask you, and thank you so much for doing this with us today. Um, you know, because you're playing right now with Three Teeth and Arthur and Punisher and you guys, I feel like that that's a real good, like, a good package. Like, everybody could sort of appreciate But I know that you, like, did, you played with, like, Black Dahlia Murder at one point, or you played with Power Trip, and so many bands that may have like nothing to do with what you guys do have you noticed maybe a different vibe or a different reaction uh, in the show depending on what type of band you're playing with i have dude honestly we do better with metal bands all around i think well i mean metal bands it's certain like other like the perturbator tour that we just did was fucking great really easy everything was wonderful this tour is also great really fun the guys i've met are all fucking super dope but I don't know. We usually, when I see like people wearing like battle vests in the crowd, I know it's going to be a good night, which is crazy because I used to play in metal bands. I thought this would never be something that metal people cared about. But now that they do, it seems to be our, fuck, dude, the biggest part of our crowd is like metal heads. And when they're not there, I know it's going to be kind of a strange night. And we have less metal heads on this tour, but. Interesting. So before we go, I'd like to thank you so much for your time today once again. Is there just uh, anything else you'd like to promote in terms of tours, and when can we be expecting some new ghosts? Uh, the new ghost is uh, going to be uh, October 4th. It's called Valediction. Um, and then we have a tour with Mayhem and Gall's Word in November, or October, November. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all for the year. Thanks so much. Everybody, we are here with Ghost. New music coming in October. And catch them on their upcoming tour with Mayhem. This is Alex from Heavy New York. We'll see you next time.